Where are we? Looks like a piece of pulse. Pulse? What, you mean like the modem vestige? Something like that. It's close to Eden. Yeah, well, what I don't understand is after the purge and all that Lassie paranoia, why keep a chunk of pulse under the floorboards? Hmm. Is this what the Primarch wanted us to see? A place for Lassie to accept their fate. Do you really think our focus is what Dysley said it is? You mean, become Ragnarok? Destroy the Falsy Eaton and shatter Cocoon. That's what the vision's telling us, more or less. <sighs> so, we're back to square one. Out of luck. Mr. Hero! Cocoon calling snow! It's almost like Dysley wants it to come true. Seems that way. He sure didn't mind explaining it. Here's your focus on a silver platter. But that doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Why would a Cocoon Falsi want to destroy Cocoon? Maybe it's a Falsi thing. You know what I mean? Some grand design we just don't understand. Huh. Hey, Snow! Nothing from you? Uh-huh. So, this way? is to destroy Cocoon. But who knows? He could be lying to trick us into helping him to do something else. We should listen to Sarah, not some foul sea. So Dysley was really the vision he was talking about was that crazy Ragnarok dream we all had when we were made into the sea. One of us is supposed to become this Ragnarok thing and destroy Eden. Except we do that by destroying this orphan that gives Eden its... I think I have that part straight now. Yeah, I gotta apologize. Looks like I was wrong. About Sarah's focus? Not like you to second-guess yourself. Yeah, well, even heroes make mistakes. What about your plan to protect Cocoon? Either way, your faith in Sarah was strong. That strength got you this far. It was all wrong. Yeah. You tried so hard to convince us that you even fooled yourself. <laughs> You've been a total idiot. But still... It saved me. You trusted Sarah. Let that faith drive you. It even made me want to believe. Kinda creepy. Yeah. <laughs> 
This place. It must be an ark. An ark? That's what they call them. Long ago, the Falci who made their home on Grand Pulse were afraid of invasion from the outside. As part of their battle preparations, they created an army of living weapons. And they stored those weapons in arcs. And they hid the arcs all over the world. Everyone on Grand Pulse knew the legend. So, this is basically a Pulse armory. Mm-hmm. Most of us never believed in them. A few people tried searching, but they never found a thing. Who'd have thought to look on Cocoon? Right under our noses. <laughs> Some secret they kept. Those Sanctum guys, what are they up to? The story's not done. There's more. They used to say the Arcs had a more practical purpose. Mm. Huh. Really? Yeah. To force Lassie to master their shiny new powers. Huh. Okay. So, I get it. Dysley's goal is to forge us into stronger weapons. Right. Not Seath, but monsters all the same. Think of it as training for the fight ahead. Pope's right! Wait. Uh, what was that? Ah, uh, uh, these guys again. Fun times. Over there. We gotta keep moving. Things are 
alive. What's this sanctum up to? Are they planning to start a war? Guys, it's all right. Reigns is a sanctum officer. He's been helping us uh, out. Why are you here? <laughs> Reigns! You traitor! I put you on the path. That was my focus. <laughs> You're a C? Since long before we met, I did my best to assist you, as bid by the Sanctum Falci. Now do you understand? The Falci have watched over you, guiding your every step. The luck that saved you time and again was a deliberate machination. Why, you may ask? The Primarch, or should I say, Bartandalus is crafting you into the instruments of Cocoon's demise. We've been played for fools. A Cocoon foul sea? Why? Why? To restore the Maker. The Maker? The entity responsible for creating both humans and foul sea. Long ago, the Maker departed this world, leaving the two races behind. In a sense, human and Falci are brothers, orphaned by the same parent. As for the humans, they forgot the order imposed by the Maker. They began to war amongst themselves for the first time in history. The Falci focused on recalling their lost deity and returning the world to its former glory. This purpose, 
lies at the heart of all their actions. Calling back the Maker requires a fitting sacrifice. Yeah, we've heard. The destruction of Cocoon. The lives of this world's entire populace in bloody tribute. No, that's crazy talk. I don't get it. Why do they need us? Couldn't the Foul see end Cocoon with just a thought? Their existence is bound to the creation and maintenance of this floating shell. It is their very nature that holds them in check. You mean Cocoon Falci can't destroy Cocoon? They needed tools. If we can stop this by doing nothing... We'll do nothing. Noble, I expected as much. Why to us? What happened to your dream of rebuilding Cocoon for the people? Was it all a lie? A shadow of a dream. From when I was human. It was change I craved. And once I'd built the influence to make things happen, there was change. I gained all the power I could hope for, but was a puppet with no will to wield it. It wasn't the Foul Sea who changed. It was me. You... you were made a Lassie? A Lassie. Tied to an inescapable focus. A slave of destiny. I'd lost hope. I'd all but given up on dreams of freedom. What are you saying? I'm here of my own accord, not by Foul Sea order. Seeing you fight brought it all back. Brought back that future I once strove for. I too will challenge my fate. Easy, guys. If I can defeat you here, the Falsi plan will fail. Reigns! I will use all my remaining power. I will set you free! Complete his focus? I don't think so. All Reigns did was try to save Cocoon in his own way. His own way. What? Hey! Where are you? Snow! I think Reigns was searching. Searching for a way to make us understand. To understand the frustration of being a Lassie. A Lassie bound to a focus. And maybe what it meant to be human.
I guess they don't train Lassie to make peace. Looks like it's a dead end. How about down there? If the stories are right, it's a maze. This place is a boot camp for Lassie. All kinds of challenges from Grand Pulse are waiting. Challenges, huh? To get us all ready to go wipe out Cocoon? We can wait here if Turn and Seath sounds better. I have had enough of this! Where's the way out?! Way out? Who said there was one? Bring it on. My mind is made up. Maybe I will end up a Seath. But until that happens, I'm gonna make Sarah proud. I couldn't bring myself to admit that this tear meant goodbye. That's why I kept searching for her. <laughs> but I didn't need to. Sarah was here the whole time. Right here. 
watching over me. Now I get it. What this tear's been telling me is to not let our focus win. It's not the foul sea we should listen to. It's Sarah and Reigns. Do you know why? Because our focus doesn't matter. What matters to me is that we protect Cocoon. Whatever it takes. Same here. I'll help you do it. All right. I'm in. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, come on. When a chocobo agrees, you know you're on the right path. There you go. <laughs> That's well, right. Count me out. What? Mm -hmm. If you all want to go it on your own, then so will I. Oh, hey, Bang. Hey. Now? hey. Let Cocoon get what's coming. They hate us for being the sea. What's it to me if they die? Better that than watch a friend go see. If you don't have the nerve for it, I'll do it myself. Go on alone, get stronger, and smash Cocoon out of the sky! Oh, uh, you turn Seath and there's no coming back! I'm not... Uh, letting it end that way! doing here? Come to take pity on me? Come to take care of a broken Lassie? That thing's here to help us? Yeah, help. That's what Eidolans do. They help us. Eidolans are our salvation. If we can't decide what to do next, they come put us out of our misery! Wait, so you haven't made up your mind yet? <clears throat> Why are you protecting me? What are you doing? Protecting one of our own. We can do without their brand of mercy. And we don't need a Falsy's orders either. I'm fighting this focus to the end. We all are. So please, fight with us. suppose you'd be willing to call it a sign of me being right. <laughs> no? All right. Okay. Listen, keep our eyes on the goal and we'll figure something out. All right. Hey, Sarah. So I guess being a Lassie doesn't have to mean you can't do what's right. Does it? I guess 
Perhaps it was one of this Ark's weapons or something. That's a gate to Grand Pulse. Right. Hmm. So what? That's our exit? Pulse or bust? Could be one of Dysley's traps. Well, that's not good. Do you think it might take us to Eden? Mm-mm. I'm doing the flying. No more of these ships taking charge of our travel plan stuff. The only place this thing is taking us is where these boys tell it to. <laughs> really? That is a Grand Pulse ship. Really? <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> Either way, we're on borrowed time. So we might as well go. We get lucky. <laughs> Maybe we'll even turn up some way to get rid of these goofy tattoos. Yeah. But there's no way to do that. You never know. Maybe we just didn't think to look for one. If nothing else, we know Cocoon's safe for the time being. I'd say it's worth going to take a look. Maybe. But what about your dad? I made him a promise. I promised him to keep going, and do what I had to. He said only I would know what that was. The world's full of lies. There's no way of knowing what's right. All we can do is believe in ourselves. It's easy to sit back and let people trick you. Like how the Sanctum had us all thinking that Elysee was some sort of monster. I'm done with their lies. Falci, this whole focus thing. From here on out, I use my eyes, think, and act. I might not make all the right choices, but as long as I'm the one who decided what to do, there's nothing to regret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, let's do it. I'm with you. Bad choices and all. <laughs> of course, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Pulse is hell, you know. Oh, is it now? How many times have you been there? <laughs> None. But I want to go and see what it's like for myself. Okay, people. <laughs> so, everybody in? Right, Absolutely. Yeah. Off to hell we go. No one ever said the future'd be easy. saw the glimmer of a dream somewhere in the sky that night. The tiniest spark of hope that we could change our fate. someone else. <laughs> Happens all the time. He thinks we're lunch. Yeah, like a seafood buffet. Seafood, cute. Guys, here it comes!
Home sweet home. Welcome to Grand Pulse.